Well, hello again, sports fans. This is my Wing Wing Z84, which I'm in the process of setting up for medium range FPV. I'm trying to keep the build as light as possible, but it's going to need to be able to transmit video at least 10 kilometres. I've mainly been using the Immersion RC 600 milliwatt uh, video transmitter, which has been pretty reliable, but it does get a bit uh, hot. So I thought I'd have a look around at some of the cheaper video transmitters that have come on the market recently and just do a bit of a rough comparison before I decide which one to put in the uh, Z84. So these are the transmitters I'll be comparing. Firstly there's the IRC 600 milliwatt then the TS-832 and finally the uh, eShine 5258. Given that the 5258 is half the weight of the other two and is advertised as having a higher power output, I'm hoping that it performs well. I'll be conducting the test using my Immersion RC RF power meter. Each transmitter will be connected to a camera and the output is going to be fed in to the power meter through a 30 decibel attenuator. All of the transmitters have been set to channel 5820 and I've set up a small video monitor just to show me what sort of uh, leakage is coming out of each of the transmitters. So this is the Immersion RC transmitter. As you can see I've added a heat sink to it but it really won't make any difference in this test because it's starting off cold. So it's giving a consistent reading just under 750 milliwatts of power which is pretty good for a 600 milliwatt transmitter. The monitor is showing a fairly strong clear signal coming from the transmitter even though its output is being fed through the meter. I'm not sure what that means, but it's something to compare. So this is the TS-832. It's been recommended to me by a friend who uses them a lot and he's pretty impressed that they don't seem to heat up and they give him good range. It's rated as having the same power output as the IRC model and it weighs about the same. It's putting out about 673 milliwatts on the meter, which again is pretty good for a 600 milliwatt transmitter. And once again there's a fairly strong picture on the monitor. So this is the Eshine 5258 and it's uh, also broadcasting on the 5820 channel and the power has been set to level 4 which is 800 milliwatts. I actually did this test a number of times because I couldn't get a consistent reading on the meter when I first did it. It's currently holding at about 470 milliwatts but on the first test I couldn't get any more than 350 milliwatts out of it. After a second test it did go up as high as about 550 briefly then dropped back down to the current level. The video on the monitor is a very poor quality but as I said I don't really know what that means but it's certainly not as good as the other two transmitters. So all in all I'm a bit disappointed with the uh, 52. So it looks like I'm going to be putting the old faithful IRC video transmitter into the Z84. I was also pretty happy with the performance of the TS-832. The only downside for me is the size. It's just too big to be putting on the wing of the Z84. But I'll probably try it in uh, a future build of something a bit larger. I'm very disappointed with the uh, 5258 though. It didn't come anywhere near its uh, rated maximum output power and the inconsistency in the power it was outputting just wouldn't give me any confidence in putting it in a long range plane. I've bought two of them so I'll do the test again on the other one at some stage but um, yeah, I wouldn't be recommending it at this point. 